Have you ever faced a problem that kept coming back no matter how many times you thought you solved it? That's where PDCA comes in. Today, I'll show you when to use PDCA, how to apply it step by step, why it's such a powerful tool in Lean Six Sigma, and what you can expect once you start using it. What is PDCA? PDCA stands for Plan, Do, Check, Act. It's a simple but powerful framework for problem solving and continuous improvement. Think of it as a learning cycle. You plan a change, you try it, you check the results, and then you act on what you've learned. When to use PDCA. You should use PDCA when you're solving a recurring problem, you're testing a new idea or process, you want to reduce waste or defects, you're in the early stages of a Lean Six Sigma project, and need structured experimentation. In short, use PDCA anytime you want to improve a process step by step without risking big failures. How to use PDCA? Here's the breakdown. Plan, define the problem, analyze the data, and set a goal. Example, reduce machine downtime by 10%. Do, implement your plan on a small scale. Think, pilot test. Check, measure the results. Did downtime really drop by 10%? Act, standardize the successful solution or go back and adjust the plan if results aren't good enough. PDCA is not a one-time fix, it's a loop. Each cycle gets you closer to the optimal solution. Why use PDCA? Why not just fix the problem and move on? Because most quick fixes don't last, PDCA ensures Decisions are based on data, not guesses. Risks are minimized by testing on a small scale. Improvements stick because they're checked before standardizing. And teams develop a culture of continuous improvement. What to expect from PDCA? When you apply PDCA correctly, expect fewer surprises because you test before you roll out. Sustainable improvements that don't fade away. More engaged teams, because everyone is part of the cycle. And over time, a culture where people solve problems proactively, not reactively. In other words, PDCA transforms firefighting into real improvement. So the next time you face a process problem, don't jump to a quick fix. Use PDCA, plan it, do it, check it, and act on it. And remember, continuous improvement is not a destination, it's a cycle. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with your team. And let me know in the comments, where do you think PDCA could help in your daily work?